Good morning, everybody. Mike Vaki, PrincetonTrader.com, here with your Friday market webcast. All right, we got jobs report today in about 50 minutes. So it's right around 7.40 a.m. I am taping this for you guys. And we talked yesterday about the most important level on the board was going to be the 20-day simple moving average, the middle Bollinger Band, the green line. We spent the vast majority of the day just fighting over it. And we're still fighting over it now. Um, let's just go straight to the hourly chart. So we've seen some, you know, we saw the big move down off the Fed. We saw monthly pivot seal off a little bit in Globex, not last night, but the night before. And then we saw a bigger move down that they that they took right back up. So they take this down to 3704 and change. At that moment, the bears had a real opportunity on a lot of metrics to really take the tape down and deal with areas like 3641 half. They blew it, at least for now, okay? In that moment, they blew it. And we ended up over the course of the next, you know, one, two, three, four, five, you know, going on six hours, um, really just battling on either side of that daily mid band, which was going to be the key area. And there's a lot of whip and chop. Hourly mid band held it in over the course of the regular session. It closed near the lows. They make a higher low and they've really been, look, the the S and P typically not always, but typically walks up into the jobs report. So we're going for a walk here up into the jobs report, getting back up into the area of the monthly pivot, which they were not able to turn into support. Um, you know, two Globexes ago, um, two European sessions ago, I should say, or Asia, or whatever you want to call it, middle of the fucking night. Um, so as we head into jobs, um, we're going to have to see if the bulls have enough juice to get it over the top of monthly pivot to at a minimum hold the daily mid band, hold the 20 as support, which they had a little bit of a test about 6.15 in the morning, which held. So, you know, it's, it's a situation where the FOMC news is out. The bears are in a position, if they can get it done, to really knock the market down. Um, going up, you know, you know, flagging up for a day or so is fine if you're a bear, as long as you finish the job, take out that 3704 within the next couple of sessions, and then work on some lower stuff. If you don't, if you don't, then what you're left with on the daily is a friggin' high or low. And like I said, you can get your crayon out and draw some some kind of a freaking line. What's interesting is I think the line that you draw probably goes through the low from from uh, from from Wednesday. And so, you know, that 37.60.25 is pretty key. Um, they couldn't hold it on a closing basis yesterday. They closed below it. Um, and they, they tried it up here uh, what, twum, ah, call it 45 minutes ago. So watch 3760 today. Um, that's very interesting to me. So a couple things, volume weighted average price, 3740106. daily pivots coming in 3737 half, uh, proprietary moving average is right around 3750. Um, so the whole area between 37 and 50 is just ripe for for more chop and whip so the bottom line is they had two major attempts this week to take the market up they both failed there's been no massive move to take the market down in the bigger picture we are we are trading you know just in this same zone that we've been in now for a few months certainly there's been no threat at the last cpi low which is 3502 um, and the bears have an opportunity to, you know, to break yesterday's low and move things down in, into the 3640s. If not, you could walk this thing all the way back up into the nine day up there at 3830s. And there's really nothing wrong with the whole down move. The only thing that you can't lose if you're a bear ultimately is you really can't lose the reaction high from the fed. So, you know, Shorts will kick and scream all the way up, but as long as you make a lower high and you finish off this low right here, 
bears are still comfortably in control. There's a lot of unknowns from a price perspective right now in this tape. It's kind of a wounded animal. Um, but as far as the jobs report goes, just let the number come out. Let the reaction range happen. Lower highs, higher lows, breakouts, breakdowns, the same thing I described at FOMC. And that's what we do in the room. If you want to learn more about that, come check us out. I think you'll like what you find. Um, yesterday wasn't a bang up day in the room. I think we ended up doing, where am I at here? Did about 16 yesterday. I, it wasn't my kind of tape. I don't, I, I mean, we were short for that. I, I, I will be the first one to admit, I had zero belief in this move up. Zero belief. So the lesson I've always taught you guys is there are going to be rallies in bear markets. You can be long the rally or you can stand aside. You just can't be short. I, I end up standing aside. So look, you got, you know, you got FOMO from hell, right? But you're not fighting it short and getting destroyed. That's the difference. And then, you know, when it does this for five hours, it's just annoying. That does not play to my, that does not play to my, my strengths. So we didn't trade a ton. Um, we tried a few things on breakouts and breakdowns and we caught this little move down at the end of the day, which was fine. So we had a couple of, you know, we had a couple of good trades and some frustrating stuff in between. We ended up hitting our, hitting our day. But the point I'm trying to make is look, every day is not going to be your style of tape. And as you do this for a while, you're going to figure out what is your style of tape. And the key to this whole thing, I could do a whole webinar on this. The key to this whole thing is what's your style of tape? How do you take advantage of your style of tape? And then be self-aware enough to figure out these are the other styles of tape. And I can give you every one. This is not me. I don't like this. I don't like this. I tend to get absolutely destroyed when the tape does this. And you sit those out. If you take advantage of the ones that speak to you and sit out the ones that don't, your account will grow and you'll save yourself a lot of frustration. Maybe it's time for a webinar. All right, everybody have a fantastic day. Be safe, be healthy, take care, trade them well. Have a great weekend. A lot of good football this weekend. Take care. Talk to you Monday.